Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As a part of the Sweatproof series, I'm doing this look for day events. It's a little more on the glam side than an everyday look, but it's not so glam you look way overdone. You could wear this to the races, the polo, a day club, a garden party, Christmas day, wherever you need long lasting makeup, but much more on the neutral side. If you want to know how I achieve this look, then please keep on watching. I start off with a mattifying product. This ensures my face will stay oil free throughout the day. This one is amazing and there's also another one by MAC called Refine T-Zone. I think this is a must if you have oily skin and want your makeup to last all day. I'm using this Hourglass Mineral Veil because this is the perfect base for oil prone skin. It's water based, waterproof and minimises the appearance of pores, fine lines and redness. I'm priming my lids with MAC Soft Ochre. This will just prolong the wear of my eyeshadows. For my transition shade, I'm using a soft brown. I've recently gone back to using this angled shader brush because the tip is perfect to get precisely in the crease and the edge blends it out at the same time. I'm putting this taupe shade right in the crease to get more definition and depth to the eye and blending it all out. For my lid shade, I'm keeping it matte and applying a warm bone colour. For my brows, I'm using a powder. I prefer the soft effect the powder gives to the brow. I also swear by the brow line brush by Zoeva. The precision it gives is just amazing, especially with powders. I'm adding the luminosity back to my skin with a water-based luminizer. This one has a peachy tint to it, so it makes your skin look Bronzed. I'm using Studio Fix Powder in MC40 for my foundation. In my opinion, this foundation for my skin type lasts super long and it also does not lack coverage. I know powders can look cakey, especially in the day, but towards the end of this video, I show you a little trick to avoid that look. I'm also taking a powder concealer in all the places I want to highlight. This really brightens up the face, also avoids creasing throughout the day, unlike certain liquids. For a natural contour, I'm taking my favourite matte bronzer by Galactic. This will act as a transition shade as we will deepen the contour next. I'm also adding this bronzer down the sides of my nose with a small shader brush to contour. This gives my nose more shape and really pulls the look together. To deepen that contour on my cheeks, I'm taking the edge of a contour brush and a darker grey base brown and just placing a small amount in the hollows of my cheeks. I'm also keeping the blush neutral with a matte peachy brown colour. To highlight, I use my finger to really pack on the highlighter, then blend it out with a duo fibre brush. To create subtle definition to the eyes, I'm placing that same taupe colour under the lash line and blending that out. 
To brighten up the eyes, I use a light liner pencil on the waterline and a shimmery champagne shadow on the inner corners. Curl your lashes and apply a coat of your favourite mascara to the top and bottom lashes. Then we're moving on to false lashes. I'm using these ones from Velour called Wing Woman. These lashes, oh my goodness, I can't even begin to explain how much I love them. They are pretty much undetectable, they look super natural and they are so easy to apply. Perfect for when you want a bit more lash than your own. For the lips, I'm going for a new combination. I'm lining them with a darker warm brown. I'm slightly overlining them to give my lips fullness. If that's not your jam, stick to your natural lip line. I only overline in the middle parts of my lips because overlining your whole lip could be disastrous. I'm filling in my lips with blankety, which is a soft pink beige, and just really blending the lip liner with the lipstick. This will create a slight ombre effect. Spraying your face with a setting spray will not only prolong the wear of your makeup, but it will also help the product to melt all together into the skin. It gets rid of that powdery cake look. And we're done. This look would have to be my go-to look when I want a natural glam. I love it. If you found this tutorial helpful, please like and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.